Earlier at the event, our guitar expert Dave mentioned a collection from some blues players that might be worth looking at. So I'm here in downtown Austin. We'll see if this meeting will strum up a deal for me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's going on, Rick? How are you, man? I'm doing great. <laughs> great, great. <laughs> Let me come down and meet you. Pretty incredible guitars. Thank you, Rick. This is mostly my father's collection, John Andrews. Hey, Rick. How you doing, bud? Uh, well, you were amazing on stage. I got to tell you that. Thanks, uh, Rick. I'm just getting the sound check for a show we're doing tonight down here at Antone's. A really historic place here in Austin. It is, yeah, mm -hmm. really, with the music scene here, I mean, it. It was kind of a catalyst back in the mid 70s. My father started bringing me, he was a musician and started me playing guitar when I was five, six years old. I played with a group that was founded in San Francisco. We later moved to Nashville, Mother Earth. Okay, I actually have a, your poster in my office, believe it or not. Super psychedelic. All right, yeah. very cool, man. I mean, th these look like some amazing guitars, okay? So the bass that looks brand new. <laughs> yeah, this is 1952. It belonged to Clifford Antone years ago. Okay. Started Antone's here. He he was quite a collector as well. What is this? I mean, I have never seen a Fender that's like half size or whatever this is. This is a three quarter size guitar that Fender made called a Duosonic. And I actually grew up playing this as a kid. I purchased that at the old pawn shop in Houston in 1968 for ten dollars with the original hard shell case. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and that is a Telecaster. Or it looks a like a Tele, but it's not. It's a Broadcaster. These are the first solid bodies that Fender made, 1950. That's when they were just figuring out solid bodies. Exactly. And the one at the end down here. This That's is the rarest this of is them the all. rarest of all of them. This is May of 1954 Fender Strat, and this is extremely rare. The first hundred were sealized on the back at 0100, and supposedly most likely less than 25 in the original condition in circulation. Okay, I'm bracing myself. What are the numbers on these guitars? Uh, the Fender Duosonic, uh, 5,000. It's a heck of a return. <laughs> Ten dollars, and the fifty-two base. With the history of that being Clifford's, I wouldn't take anything less than fifty. Okay, the broadcaster. One fifty. One hundred fifty thousand for the broadcaster, yeah. and the granddaddy of rock and roll <laughs> for the uh, nineteen fifty-four Fender Strat. Three hundred thousand. Damn. Yeah, you know, Dave set this whole thing up for me to come down here. I mean, right. incredible guy. But I had no idea I'd be seeing stuff like this. And he's actually on his way down here. Let me have him take a look at this stuff and just get his opinion on it. 